how's it going everyone it is Prav here and today we're taking a look at this camera slider from a company called Zekti I don't exactly know how to pronounce that name but it's actually called the Zekti 15.7 inch portable carbon fiber camera slider and this is among the most budget options regarding a camera slider that I've came across on the internet so far that's why I was curious to see if it's actually any good or not, considering that it only costs $50. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to test this thing. And in the end, I'm going to let you guys know if it's worth the $50 price tag or not. But before starting, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so you don't miss any future videos. Now that you've done that, let's actually get started with the video. The slider comes in a very nice black and red accented carrying case. And as you open the case, the first thing you're gonna see is the slider itself. As of first impressions, the slider seems to be built of very sturdy materials. The rails are made of carbon fiber and the top plate seems to be made of aluminum. There are plenty of mounting threads throughout the whole body of the slider, providing a lot of options in terms of configuring the way you want to operate it. The slider also comes with a 3 8 inch to quarter inch tripod adapter and there is also a quick start guide. And that's pretty much it that comes along the slider. For mounting options, the slider plate has a quarter inch screw which you can easily use with a ball head for more flexibility in your shots. One small detail that I really like about the top plate is that the area where you screw the ball head has a rubber circular base, which provides a nice grip to the ball head and avoids accidental twists. In this case, I'm using the ball head that came with my Gorilla Pod, but you can easily use a fluid head if you wish so. But my personal opinion is that it would be a little overkill to use a big fluid head on such a versatile slider. There is also a small bubble head built into the sliding plate and it comes very handy when you're trying to level the slider. Moreover, on both ends of the slider, there are quarter inch and 3 8 inch mounting threads so as to mount the slider vertically for those smooth vertical shots. To lock the camera in position, the slider has a locking mechanism, which will avoid any unnecessary motion. Another great thing about this slider was how smooth the carbon fiber rails were. I was expecting them to have a texture which would have introduced micro jitter in the footage, but thankfully the rails are very smooth and the slider provides very pleasing results. Regarding the length of the slider, some people might think that 15 inches is just not enough, but that in my opinion depends on the type of video work you're doing. I found that 15 inches was just about the right size between portability and functionality. I mean, you can literally carry this thing around in pretty much any regular sized backpack. So in the end, would I recommend this camera slider? And the answer is yes. I highly recommend this camera slider if you're doing indie filmmaking or making YouTube videos. But if you're doing more professional work, let's say you're shooting weddings or doing commercial client work, then I personally would go for something more professional but other than that, I really actually like this slider and for $50, I cannot recommend it enough. A bonus tip that I can give you guys is that don't just expect something to come out of the box and give you amazing results. Remember, these things are just tools and the magic always lies in the hands of the operator. So give yourself some time to learn, make mistakes and improve your techniques. And believe me, the results you'll get will amaze you. So that's it for today's video guys, hit like if you liked the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, and maybe check other videos on the channel. So thank you everyone for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.